Good morning, New Life Church children. Welcome to my home, from our home to your home. And we pray that you are all doing well and that you are feeling encouraged in the truths that we've been sharing with you. So you have been seeing many of these, haven't you? Everywhere we go, we are seeing people with masks on. We're seeing people with gloves. Edie, do you want to put on those gloves for us so we can see what they look like? And it's kind of intimidating seeing all these people with their masks and their gloves on. But what are the reasons that they are using them? Well, we're using the gloves and the masks to protect our bodies from getting these germs or these viruses that are in the environment right now. Are those gloves giving you a bit of a hard time? They're not so easy, are they? We, are. we, we, can, we can empathize with all the doctors and nurses that have to put them on all the time. Hey, that looks good, Edie. Thank you. So hold up your hand with half a glove on. <laughs> That's great. So those gloves and these masks are there to protect our bodies to guard our bodies from getting the virus or from getting sick, from one person exchanging the virus to the other. But that protects our bodies. Can these masks protect our minds and hearts from feeling anxious? They can't, can they? So what do we do to protect or guard, just like these masks and gloves do, what do we do to protect our minds and our hearts from feeling anxious. And that's what I want to speak to you a little bit about today from the book of Philippians chapter 4. And I want us to go and read verses, if you go down and look at verse 6. And listen to what Paul is telling us about feeling anxious. It says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. And then he says, finally, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worth praise. Think on these things. So what did Paul do to guard his heart and his mind? Well, Paul chose to focus on the Lord, didn't he? He chose to do a few things to help his heart and mind not be filled with anxiety, for him to experience the peace of God. Now, there's something really important you need to know about this passage. Paul was writing this while he was in prison. That's right. I'm sure Paul could have been filled with real anxiety and fear, just like we filled with anxiety and fear when we see all these people with masks and gloves and all the things that are going on with this pandemic. But what do we hear Paul saying? Well, he says he has peace. Why? Well, there are a few things that Paul does to help guard his mind and his heart. And the first thing he does he says he prays. He says, that, but in everything in prayer and supplication. If you're feeling anxious, we can pray. Talk to the Lord. Bring it to the Lord. The next thing he says is be thankful. So instead of being anxious and worried, start thinking about some things that you can be thankful for. And there are so many things that all of us can be thankful to the Lord for. What else can we do? Well, it says in the last verse that I read in verses 8 is to think on things that are good. Think on truth. And the truth that I've been trying to rem remind you of is that God cares for us. He cares for those that love him. So we can pray. We can be thankful. And we can think about the truths of God's word. And as we fill our hearts and our minds with these things, it guards us, just like this mask guards our bodies from those viruses and germs. So guys, when you see everybody wearing these masks, I don't want you to feel anxious and fearful. I want you to ask yourself, am I praying? Am I thinking um, of what I can be thankful for? 
And am I remembering the truths of God's word that he cares for me? And all these things will help you to feel less anxious and afraid and guard you from those germs of anxiety and fear. Just like Paul was able to do it when he was in prison there in that jail. So I have an idea for you. Other than doing the bulletins, which I've sent out for you, guys, hold up your masks. Why don't you decorate your mask so that when, you, when everyone's out and about, they'll have a mask that will make somebody else smile. And I'm sure that would be a blessing to somebody else that might be feeling anxious. So send me some pictures of you with your masks on that have been decorated. I think I'm going to do a big smiley face on the front of mine. What do you think? Blessings, children. I pray that these truths are encouraging you, and we cannot wait to see you in person, face to face. Blessings, lots of love. Bye.